Hello ladies and gentlemen, Tevron here, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. Last time we were told that the town deputy has been kidnapped and is being held at Bison Steve. Before we investigate that though, I am interested to know if this robot here yeah. has or knows anything to do about Victor. Howdy partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. And who are you? Prem Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spokespot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! All right, and who were Vicky and Vance? Where are partner? Hiding under a rock? No. Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. Oh, and I mean, wise. well then. Prem Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. Uh, no, thank you. Have it your way, partner. Maybe work up your curiosity by having a look at thrilling exhibits, like the genuine death car and Vance's machine gun. Vance's machine gun, you say? Happy trails, I'd like to partner. have a look at Vance's machine gun. The 9mm submachine gun preserved in the glass case the left of this plaque is the actual weapon Vance carried in a paper wrapped box under some suitcases in the trunk of his car during his and Vicky's crime spree. Never fired and luckily untouched by the hail of bullets that ended its notorious owner's life, the weapon's mint condition inspires dread in all who look upon it. Experts speculate that Vance might have killed as many as 50 people had he ever fired the gun. As long as his aim was exact and he was starting off with a full clip or even more if he had an addi had additional ammo clips and remember to reload um, I'm not real impressed with Vicky and Vance's exploits and I'm even less impressed with the empty display case hey uh, Prim Slim howdy partner welcome to the Vicky and Vance casino and museum Uh, did you know that the gun's Just missing? Just you on over to the display case and you'll see it plain as day. Quite a piece that gun. Mint condition. Never fired. So, I don't have the science for that option. But apparently somebody has hacked him. Yes, sir. You just tell old Prim Slim what you'd like to know. I would imagine in order to make off with the gun. Happy trails, partner. So we'll come back and talk to him when we have enough science and maybe we can claim that gun for ourselves and apparently the building with the large bison sign is bison steve who would have ever thought i don't know if this is going to be worth it or not i've just about had my feel of powder gangers. Excuse me for a second while I rehydrate. All right, and in we go. And there's one right off the bat. And apparently I can't shoot. In vats are out of it. You like that? Well, not it's not especially. I'll be honest with you. Won't you come back around this corner? Apparently, our armor is pretty good though, because I'm not taking a lot of damage. Oh, and there's a buddy coming around the corner, and he was nice enough to run right into us and let us shoot him point blank. <coughs> Excuse me. These powder gangers always have just an absolute ton of useful useful stuff on them. Bottle caps, ammunition, weapons. I'm gonna explore this room a bit more since we had to be in a rush to defend ourselves. Okay, that's blocked off. They got tables set up as a barricade, which they didn't bother to use. There's a door over here. It's locked hard. 
but the terminal is easy. I, I don't see a safe in the floor. I would say the terminal accesses the door then. Maybe? Alright. Okay, so we're at this again. We'll try holding. And three letters of holding are correct. Let's look for... Yeah, we got our guess back. So, cutting. Is it the ING that's correct? Apparently it's the ING that's correct. Let's see if we can get uh, another guess back or some duds removed. This can be quite tedious sometimes. Dead removed, good. That helps. Any more? They seem to always be, let's see, that should be a guess back. No, a dead removed, that's fine too. Maybe we can get this one on the first attempt and not have to back back out. We've only got three guesses left though. Um, we know the first letters can't be H-O-L-D or C-U-T-T and that doesn't match any of those. So it's also not M-E-A. So it can't be ceiling. It can't be winding or winding uh, it can't be English it could be grabbing it is grabbing good all right nice uh, yes disengage lock please thank you nice um lunchbox burned books bubble gum I don't think I want bubble gum uh, an arm bison Steve maintenance key that could come in useful a nine millimeter pistol several bottle caps medex that's good radex good a Brahmin steak all right, barrel cactus fruit lowers endurance but heals a little bit. I don't think we need that. And a safe, too. So let's try to open the safe. Average, need a skill of 50 to pick it. Okay, we'll have to try to remember that. First aid kit. Doctor's bag, that's good. Uh, don't need the empty syringe, apparently. That symbol down there in the lower left means junk. Take blood. All right, nice. That's a pretty good haul already. Save again, and we'll continue on our way. And there's an enemy already. And I think he noticed us. Maybe we can catch him as he comes around the corner. You like that? Well, I don't know. Why don't you come here and ask me to my face? Oh, dynamite! Well, we underestimated this, gentlemen. All right, nice. And apparently the lit dynamite stops being lit when we shoot him in the head. All right. Good stuff, good stuff. Fresh apple, that's nice. Okay. Let's see if he crippled any of our limbs with that dynamite. No, but some of them's pretty close. So we'll need to be careful. Let's see, we got bottle caps here. Cash, cash register, pre-war money, that'll sell. Empty. Another couple of bottle caps. Burned book, burned book. Pre-war book, it's only worth one. Not really worth picking up in my humble opinion. 
uh, metal box, pre-war money, wonder glue. I'm just not really into the whole crafting aspect of this game. Uh, safe. Yeah, we need lock picks of 75 to open that. So we'll try to remember and come back for that one as well. We'll just keep on. Elevator. Yeah, I don't have a 35 repair yet, so I can't fix it. Or anymore. There's a Nuka Cola machine. We'll take all that. And bubblegum. Take the Mintats. That can boost intelligence for a short while. There's some guys. Let's let's see if we've got a better weapon, perhaps, to take these guys on. Yeah, let's try the grenade rifle for a little bit. And with it, I think close enough. Close is pretty good. Yep, good. And right in the torso. Nice. Did we hit ourselves? Yeah, we hit ourselves some too. Note to self, don't shoot someone with a grenade rifle when you're 10 feet away from them. Impacts, please. Take two of those and we'll eat some sugar bombs. And we'll also use. Oh, we're not crippled? I thought one of our limbs was crippled. Okay, good. Did that get him? Nope. Can we get him from here? I think we probably can. Nice. They always say close always counts, only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. I guess a grenade gun counts as well. Okay, we will switch weapons just so I don't kill myself by accident. And let's switch to the shotgun for right now. And that looks like a flamethrower. Uh, take incinerator. Yes, thank you. Fuel tank. Flamer fuel. Take leather armor. We can repair our, our own armor with that. And we'll exit. Let's go loot this guy. We got just the standard that most of the powder gangers carry getting a little bit close to our inventory limit is this a looks like they've killed a brahmin and are roasting it for their dinner yet more money They've got some mods and quite a bit of chems too. We need to be careful about using too many of those though because we do not want to become addicted. Which is actually pretty easy to do in these games if I remember correctly. Let's go ahead and sleep for an hour. Should be enough to heal us up. Yep, good. Yeah, that's him. Tied up there. Either him, yep, Deputy Beagle. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my Maybe. fingers, but my hands are numb. Funny. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm it's in a pleasure bit to meet of a you as well. Here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. 
Sure. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Um. Going to run off and let me fight these guys by myself? Yeah, if you try to want, run away instead of fighting at my side, I'll kill you myself. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help. But without it, you lead the way. I don't think I like you, Deputy Beagle. I don't think I like you at all. Anyway, anything in the refrigerators? Take the Sunset Sarsaparilla. And... Fire resistance. I'll take that as well. It's got some resistances and stuff on it. And apparently the alcohol is not of any real use unless you're in hardcore mode. Which I am not. Locked. Okay. We have the key for that. Upstairs. Let's not go upstairs yet. Let's get our deputy friend out of here. I guess the only way out is the way I came in. So we'll head that direction. I wonder if I could grenade my way through there. Once I get him out, I'll come back in hey and there. try that. Um. Yep. Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider. I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't nice suppose to meet you, you Malcolm. Trade. I'm missing a few essentials and ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Uh, that's rather disconcerting. Why were you following me? It started me? off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. How'd you see me do that when I was inside a shack? What's so special about these There's caps? There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Okay, and you collect them too? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. Good to know. Um, what kind of treasure are we talking about here? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value. And that's enough to get people motivated. Fair enough. Um, where can I find more? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. Got some of those? They'd all have been picked clean by now. But somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it. Hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue star caps are no exception. Seems legit. Um, yeah, who's this Festus? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make them pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met them, and they weren't the lying type either. Okay. Uh, thanks. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. Alan Marks. Will do. Thanks very much. Hey, where do you think you're going? You got some information to well, give me. that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself oh, yeah. out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. 
What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Um, the more you talk, the more I just want to beat you about the head and neck. Yeah, tell me more about the man in the checkered suit before I go berating you. Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Hey, wait. Hello again. I don't suppose you've decided to help Prim find its next sheriff? Uh, yeah, what are you talking about? You should be the sheriff now. Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. You're just absolutely useless, aren't you? Uh, what are the qualifications for a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. All right. Apparently I have to do everything. You will. That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff oh, yeah. that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm sure you're going to be the one giving the interview since you yourself aren't at all qualified to do the job, apparently. Let's see what these people in here have to say about it. Hey there. Did your voice change? Where's the old guy? I think I see him in the back there. He seemed a bit more... someone I could talk to about things. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? Yeah. Uh, how can I help bring the rule of law back to Prim? Hey, your guess is as good as mine. You might luck upon someone who's a natural-born sheriff. I heard of one fellow what got himself locked in that NCR jailhouse up I-15. And maybe that ain't the best credential, but a sheriff's a sheriff. I imagine the NCR would be able to bring some law to the town, too. But from what I've seen, they barely got the firepower to protect themselves. Okay. Um... Yeah, what about the robot? Could he be well, sheriff? I guess I never thought of that. I guess he could be sheriff. If you think he could be reprogrammed for it. Probably. All right. That sounds like the best idea to See me. Let's go talk to Prim Slim. Move along, please. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Uh, reprogram. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. Authorization found. Yeah! Reinstating. So, you were a law bot before, and somebody reprogrammed you to be a museum bot. I think we just leveled up. trails, partner. We did indeed. So, science is something we need. We can use that right away. And we can't really get our lockpicks high enough to do those safes over there. But, I guess we can make a start towards it. We get another perk. We took Lady Killer last time, which gives us 10% bonus towards females in battle, plus unique conversation options outside of battle. Uh, educated, you gain two more skill points every time you advance in a level. This perk is best taken early on to maximize its effectiveness. That sounds really good. Uh, with the cannibal perk, when you're in stink mode, you can eat a corpse to regain health. 
but you lose karma, and if it's witnessed, it's considered a crime against nature. Yeah, I don't like that very much. I don't really need the additional experience. Yeah, I mean, as much as I want the confirmed bachelor for the damage and the dialogue options, intense training seems good too. Educated seems really good, so I'm going to take that. Let's see if we can't talk to you now about the missing gun and fix your programming in that department. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Uh, yeah, did you know that Vance's gun is missing? Just mosey on over to the display case and you'll see it plain as day. Quite a piece of that gun. Mint condition. Never fired. Uh, scan your data registry. You've been hacked. Look at that. I happened to cross this data file locked away in an isolated subsystem. Imagine that. A uh, map marker added. Okay. So, uh, that's it. Tell me about Vicky and Vance again. You got it, partner. Prince Slim. First oh, things. Lord. Fact is, they... Yeah, I don't want to hear this story. I thought we might get some more about the gun. Goodbye. Happy trails, partner. So we got a map marker. Maybe that's where the gun's at. Is it going to be under quests, perhaps? Uh, the reunion. The preeminent near the divide. Um. I don't think this is any of them. Perhaps it's just on the map. So show me the world map. Let's look for a location. There's Novak. NCR Correctional Facility. Powder Ganger. Good Springs. Canyon. Maybe it is the Canyon Wreckage. Okay. So we'll try that. The Reunion. Howdy. And, but we'll have to get to that next time. Thank you so much for continuing on this journey with me. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like below and consider subscribing to be notified when I upload more great content every day. And until next time, we'll be seeing you.